Is that a dog? <laughs> Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and we are fighting Rex Raptor. As the name suggests, he has an army of dinosaurs under his command. Though his sharp eyes give him a frightening look, he isn't a bad person. I'll put it to you straight. My dinosaur army is tough, no lie. If you don't focus, it'll be over before you can do any shouting. <laughs> yes, I know that in the Bridge series, him and Weevil are Beavis and Butthead, but I don't have a great impression of them, okay? <laughs> oh, cool. That's a good start. First turn, level two summon. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Love to see it. Okay, and we don't get a summon on the first turn. Good, good. Love to see it. Oh, and then followed by a level one summon. Cool. Oh, oh this, this is. Uh, it's definitely not gonna be the Bakura fight all over again where we just don't get any summons. See? Because we got one right now. It's fine. It's fine. It's definitely not gonna happen again. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway. We're good. Seeing surprisingly few dinosaurs in his in his dice pool. All right. Uh, okay. All right, you, and then you, and sure you. Okay, cool. Um, uh, mystical elf. Can't really go that way, so. Let's do it. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, the bar. movement more would be my guess. Hmm. Well, we are getting in attacking range. So let's go Battle Warrior. Okay, he gets on Red Archery Girl here. So I'm thinking this is a good idea. This will help us get around both sides, actually. Mm -mm. Assuming we get a, another summon before he does. Okay, didn't get a level 3 summon, thank god. Uh, you. Uh, we're gonna go with our standard. We need both movement and attack build here. Uh, you. Okay, we get summons. Summons are good. Beaver Warrior. Alright, which side do we go around for? I wanna, I wanna try and block off this way first. summon here. Knock it up. Can I not? Okay, I guess I can't summon there. I guess you can't summon directly adjacent to the obstacle? I don't know. Alright, I guess we'll go this way then. Can do that, but I think our 
best option is this. There we go. There's room for one more summon in there, I believe. Means I'm gonna have to go around Mystical Elf. Uh oh. Meteor Dragon. That's pretty powerful. Okay, good to know. He took up the last of the space on that side. Oh, it flies, so he'll have a hell of a time getting enough movement to go anywhere. That's good. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna... We might need some movement here. Extra movement, I should say. Okay. Um, let's go Penguin Soldier. See, so, yeah, let, let me test this theory. Can I... Hold on. Before we get too hasty, let's figure out which one's the best option. That would be. Nope, can't summon there. Okay, then we'll do it here then. Get around this way. No, that'll do. It's fine. No, he gets another summon. Gator Dragon. Oh, hmm. Does that fully block me off? Almost. Hmm, okay, okay. Summons, it's fine. Um, I kinda want summons though, so I can secure that little corner there. Oh. Summons for me, game, not him. Ugh. Okay, alright. Alright, that makes things a little bit trickier. Rebo. All right, what's the best way to do this? Uh, we could do that. That would almost block him. We could also do that. Ah, this is better. This leaves him with fewer options. Okay. I'm gonna have to fill in this spot with my stuff, but it's fine. Okay, good. No summons. Alright. Still working on building up resources here. Yeah, you know, Battle Warrior would be nice. Okay, good. Uh, let's summon Battle Warrior. This, with this, we can close off this side. Which is grand for us. Hmm. Able to attack flying monsters. So could I get rid of this Curse of Dragon? I think so. I think I might even have advantage here, too. So hold on, how many... 11 defenses uh, versus my 5 attacks. Let's just give it a shot. Oh wait, I can move past him. Well, we'll go here for now. Oh, we do have advantage here. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. So he still deal damage even when he guards. Alright. It's good to know. That means Gator Dragon will probably also die to Battle Warrior. If we need to do so. Oof, 
level four. Oh, okay. Uh, you've got a bonus here. Yeah, there's no point in me trying to block. Penguins. <laughs> that is the card that that guy turned into, right? <laughs> Flying penguin. That's fine. You can have Red Archery Girl. Alright. Uh, movement. We could use more of that because we just used some. Uh, and then, yep, that's exactly what I wanted, actually. Okay. Battle Warrior will probably still be useful. Alright, so let's figure out how we can fit just like this. More like this. That works too. Yeah, like this. Deny that space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Only have two movements, so I can't move to Gator Dragon just yet. But I can get rid of this Curse of Dragon. Beautiful. Love to see it. So I'm still relatively well guarded here. It didn't really get around my defenses in any way. Um, movement. Attack and defense. Uh, probably more attack than defense. Two dimensions left, okay. Actually, you know what? If we've got two dimensions left, we've got him cut off on both sides. Let's go with the level threes. That's probably a better idea. Alright, we have three movement. We could do this now. We'll survive one. Oh, yeah. Nice. He's got one heart left. Mm -hmm. Really don't want him to get that level four summon because that would be spooky. Movement. That's neat. All right, finish off the Gator Dragon. Good stuff. Uh, Battle Ox might be an issue. Flying Penguin, not as much, but uh, this guy's 2020 and is a beast, which means that Battle Warrior does not uh, doesn't really stand a chance against him. Summon, good. Might have to slip a battle warrior in behind him. Or if I can summon one of these guys, one of my level threes. You still have a bunch of guards left. I'm curious. Are spellcasters good against these? I mean, as long as it's not the other way around, then. Mystical Elf doesn't have to worry, right? Okay. It does not appear so. But we can at least block this guy from moving any further. Okay. It's worth the experiment. but not a lot of movement crests, which is good for us. Okay. Mm, I think we're just waiting for a level three right now. 
that's kind of what's what my plan is. Because if I can summon the level three close enough and then slip behind Battle Ox. That's kind of my current plan. And hope the bad locks doesn't go on the offensive, because if it does, it just kills me. <laughs> ah. Okay, it's moving a little more. And a bar. There we go, there's a summon. Okay. Pumpkin, you are what I want most. Um, I want to summon you as close to that corner as possible. Um, the way to do that would be... Yeah, I guess it would just be this. Now, eventually, we'll be able to get Pumpkin up there to where he can attack. Oh, that's the level 4 summon. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh-oh. Uh, wait, Battle Warrior can kill that, right? Maybe. Uh, no. No, even if I guard here, Battle Warrior just dies. Okay, then we'll wait. Yikes! Uh, that's spooky. Yeah. Never stood a chance. Okay, Battle Ox moved out of the way, which is good for us. Uh, do we still have a Penguin Soldier left? We do, thank god. Okay. Uh, so then we're gonna go movement. And I think this is optimal, I believe. Because that's all we need right now. It's all we need is to get... <laughs> all we need is to get Pumpkin moved into the position. I mean, Battle Warrior can take some health off of Red Eyes, but... Uh, it's gonna be... it's gonna be tough. Probably not gonna be able to kill it. Oh, baby dragon. Mm. Okie doke. Movement, please. Please and thank you. Okay, there's some. Uh, how much movement do we need to get to the Die Master? Quite a bit, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine movement. We can do it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all fine. We'll just, we'll just get the movement and then... Okay, well, not this turn, but <laughs> eventually we'll get the movement. He's not getting a lot of movement either, so this works for us. Ooh, how cool would it be to get red eyes, though? Not that I have any other level fours. Actually, I do have one other level four, don't I? I guess I could use it then. Also, yes, we have eight movement now. We need one more. more movement. That's all. If any of the dice roll movement on this turn, then we, we're where we need to be. Yes, okay. Here we go. Right up to your die master. To attack. Beautiful. Rex sexy. Rex actually has a few dice in his pool that are pretty good. Like Red Eyes, Meteor Dragon, 
Um, I don't really need movement. Sure. Okay, one more movement. I'll take it. I'm kind of, kind of, kind of curious what I'll get from this battle. What die I'll get from this battle. Mystic Horseman. Oh. Can we get to me? One, two, three. Uh, wrong way, sir. <laughs> it's not gonna defend your die, master, when I'm already right next to it. Uh, okay. Okie doke. Finish him off. Woo! Some pretty scary dice you got, Rex. And we got flying penguin. <laughs> He's Grandpa one. Oh, and it's the game show producer who we've beaten once. Okay. We're going to go ahead and fight the game show producer next time. Because, uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. Surely he can't be any harder this time.